The hypocrite constantly acts in his own interests and perpetually strives to benefit from Muslims. The hypocrite, unwisely, considers obtaining a minor worldly interest more important than attaining the approval of God in the Quran. God informs us of this wicked personality trait of the hypocrites. Thinking other than the truth about God, thoughts belonging to the time of ignorance, saying, is there anything for us in the affair? Say, the affair belongs entirely to God. They are concealing things inside themselves which they do not disclose to you, saying, if we had a part in the affair, none of us would have been killed here in this place. Surah Al-Imran 154 As indicated in the verse, when asked to make an effort in any issue for the good of Islam, a hypocrite approaches thus with a rationale that suggests is there anything for us in this affair. He first attempts to find out the extent of the interests he can attain. The hypocrite carefully avoids making an effort to do anything which will please God and be for the good of Islam in helping and supporting Muslims in this regard. When asked for help, he refrains from doing that on the grounds of a variety of lies, distractions, postponement and frauds. That is because he believes that he will not have a tangible benefit for his efforts. As he acts not with his conscience, but with his ugly mindset, he does not have the slightest interest, desire or enthusiasm to endeavor for the good. That is why when he is asked to do something for Islam, he primarily thinks, is there anything for us in the affair? The hypocrites dawdle about doing something good for Islam, but when it comes to something related to the irreligious people, they make great sacrifices in return for mere appreciation. Indeed, most of the time, it would be enough for a hypocrite to hear a well done from people whom he idolizes. While the hypocrite is highly reluctant to make an effort for Islam, he becomes tremendously ambitious and motivated for something through which he will be appreciated by the irreligious people and in the public eye. As revealed in the verse, hypocrites say, if we had a part in the affair, none of us would have been killed here in this place. With these words, the hypocrites in the time of our Prophet وسلم, meant that if they had joined Muslims in their cause, they would gain no personal benefit from it and would also risk their lives. Hence, they considered it a great harm to act together with the Prophet. However, if it is predestined by God, it is clear that they would certainly die there or anywhere else. Also, it is not possible for a hypocrite to avoid death or some kind of loss by pursuing their own interests. In the same vein, if God blesses a person or bestows his favor upon him, he will be granted it accordingly, even under the most difficult situations. However, because the hypocrites do not evaluate incidents in compliance with the Quran, they remain heedless of these important facts. While they think that they act cunningly by pursuing their interests, they fail to realize that they are being enveloped by the greatest material and spiritual disasters.